and known each other from the time you're teens often you know what i mean mm. so just to stay yeah. on that um one of the memorable spots you had was the uh summer slam diva dodgeball and obviously yeah. you've won it but i heard with like interviews from ivory and such they a lot of the girls they got a lot of heat from it because Losing. Oh, did they have yeah. the wrestlers court because they, they did. Right. They did. <laughs> oh, what the Which, like, I don't even. I'm now that there's more internet. I mean, internet was really new back then. There was like the the ridiculous threads, right, of people that were, you know, whatever the chat rooms and the the Reddit of wrestling, I guess, right, back then. Um, but I don't think a lot of people know what wrestling court. Maybe your listeners do, but you know, the general yeah, public don't know that, I, that that's I had a never thing. Heard of that. Before I got to WWE, yeah, I, I was like an exclusive WWE thing to where like the yeah. boys, yeah, 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 yeah. We were not the the like incoming, the newer like the the Diva Search girls. We were not um, invited to that, or permitted to that at all. So really, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh. <laughs> From what I remember of that, I mean, I think Michelle McCool single-handedly was responsible for that win. I took one for yeah. the team and got someone out and got myself out while I was getting someone out. Um, but I'm, I'm just not, I'm not a dodgeball gal. So. Right. Those, so, those are uh, tough. Those are some tough chicks. I mean, you know, you make friends with them later. So you get to, you get to know them, but just to look at, I mean, I remember jazz being there and Nydia and trying to think of who else ivory was there. I guess I kept trying to think of who else was there. Victoria, Molly, Lisa, Molly, Victoria Molly? was there at the time. I, I, I think Molly Stacey. was around, but I don't know okay, if she okay. participated. Maybe. Okay. But it was like, it was like some strong women. So here we yeah. are, already not feeling the most, you know, welcome coming in, and uh, it was a little, <laughs> it was a little scary. <laughs> so. Right. So, um. Who would be like, well, I don't want you to mention names and stuff, but. I will who, tell you, we were told not to socialize with you guys when we came. We were not, we were told we were not allowed to leave our cubbyhole locker room. We were not like, allowed the men, to. Especially? Anyone. No, I mean, oh. I'm sure that was the undertone, but no, anyone, even the women. We were not to socialize. So we came off as just not, you know, being stuck up or thinking Snobby, we were too yeah. good when really we were told like you are not allowed to be out of this room period unless someone comes and gets you don't leave so that's what happened so they yeah. set it up a little i mean you know how it is they, they well you up. got a bunch of testosterone filled pro wrestlers that you know well i mean after i got to know you guys i was like oh this is why they me hanging out with these <laughs> girls uh yeah so yeah, yeah. Okay, but I just took a different approach. I think I just, I mean, I grew up with a lot of guys. I've always, you know, when I was younger, I had a lot of guy friends and right. uh, was around sports teams with a lot of guys. So I kind of knew if you don't want to get hit on by the guys, then you be one of the guys, like you be their friend and you keep that line strong. And so that I was married. So that's what I did. So I, I didn't have any like problems really with anyone because it wasn't, it just wasn't like that in my little small group that I when I hung out with them, you know, when we were at the gym together or, you know, you just happen to be places with people. So in so that way, long, I didn't have problems. How long did your whole run last? Was it, it was like a year in total. It was like not very long at all. Yeah. Right. And was it very your choice to like... 